I love. Oh. Oh my god. I. I need a shape. I need to fix my hair. I look like a hobo. All right, there we go. Much better. This looks a lot more professional. I feel a lot more professional. And admittedly, when I, I got up to go shave, Mrs. Stick, she looked at me and she said to me, like, point blank, well, I was gonna say something, but... Now, disregarding that, I love gacha games. I do. I love new gacha games. And more than anything, I love gacha games that nobody knows about. I love being one of the first western content creators to cover a new gacha game to bring it to all of your guys' attention which is where admittedly this game comes in the character art immediately caught my attention because it looks absolutely stunning so i clicked the uh the image and took me on over to this page i looked at it and i'm like okay let's translate it see what it tells me the name is dust damira and i'm like no no it, that can't be its name so I looked at the trailer and apparently its name, when you refresh the page, is Direction of Stars. I know absolutely nothing about this game other than its name and the fact that it has some really good looking waifus in it. And there are only approximately 20,000 people that even know this game exists until today. And we're gonna go ahead and look at the trailer first. There are two trailers. There's this trailer and then I think some kind of gameplay trailer as well. Before we go any further, I just wanna take a moment here to thank all of our incredible patrons. You guys allow me to continue to play games like this for a living and I can never truly repay that kindness. Also, if you're interested, I stream over on Twitch every single weekend. You should totally come on over and join me. We're gonna look at the gameplay trailer after this. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and assume this audio is gonna be copyright claimed. So I'm gonna go ahead and mute it because I do not want to have to re-edit this video multiple times. That happens all the goddamn time. These fucking Chinese developers, man. They just refuse to let you upload a raw reaction to their trailer. And it's infuriating. The characters kind of remind me of somewhere between like Honkai Impact, uh, Punishing Grey Raven, and like Ether Gazer, I guess. But, you know, this is, uh, this is all pre-rendered right now. It looks good, don't get me wrong. The, their trailer is showing some very, very gorgeous looking characters. I'm just hoping that the, uh, the game isn't censored. Because it is Chinese. China has this weird obsession with, uh, with censoring their, their video games. I was looking at another game earlier and the trailer was like obscured by giant white beams of light. It was horrible to look at. Tamira? Maybe that is its name then. Interesting. Here, however, is a supposedly, okay, the real machine demonstration of 2D, 3D otaku strategy mobile game. All screens are recorded by real game machines. So this is 100% real footage and for reference the game is a strategy gotcha game so i guess it might be kind of uh kind of comparable to uh path to nowhere to arc knights you know i'm, ac I'm actually i'm gonna mute this as well because i can't i just Interesting in-game character model. But this might- yeah. So that was like zoomed in on the in-game model. They have full 3D models. These are not like 2D chibi like uh, Blue Archive or Arc Knights. Azure Lane.
Oh, there's a lot of bounce present. Wow. Are th I... Oh, can you like walk or you can do things with the Okay, hi. Oh. Oh, you guys are totally gonna make this weird. <laughs> Next station Stardust? Dude, the amount of English like words and names I see present leave me very confused as to what this is even called the plan of rebirth next station stardust uh strange dust domina uh what was the other one direction of stars i just <laughs> i just i don't know what to what to even call this now there doesn't actually seem to really be anything else posted but this is supposedly as was evident by the the, uh, the trailer that we saw, the actual gameplay, this is a very packed nowhere, Ark Knights-ish type of uh, tower defense RPG, which is good because I feel like we really don't have all too many of them and the few we do are actually really good. This might ultimately end up being good as well. I, I, I can't say with any certainty whether it will or not. I really, really hope I get to try this. Again, there are only 20,000 people that are even interested in this. It was rated 9.1 during its test phase. The test phase did take place on, I think it was in the last few months that this that this was actually tested. Either way, this looks like a game that, that I would definitely be interested in. I love strategy games. I love Path to Nowhere. I thought uh, it was very deep. I love the voice acting. The, the gameplay loop was really engaging. Uh, Ark Knights is my favorite gacha game. Admittedly, I'm not overly fond of the graphical style. I think it definitely needs a little more work, but otherwise, I think this game has a lot of potential. It is currently the number seven most pre-registered game. If you want to pre-register for this game, I will have a link down in the comment section below, in the description below. I urge you to go ahead and click that. Otherwise, if you're not interested in whatever this game is called, absolutely no problem. I got two different videos on screen right now that might be more interest to you. One featuring a list of every confirmed gacha coming out this month. The other featuring a gacha game that I am really looking forward to seeing that is also going to be releasing at some point this year.